Excuse me. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm talking to you. You may not want to walk into that builder's model without a realtor. Y yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah, I'll tell you why right now. Welcome back, friends. I'm Kelly Vaughn with the Vaughn team at Keller Williams. Thank you for indulging me in my little opening. Um, hope it caught your attention. Today we're going to talk about reasons why you need a real estate agent when you're buying a new construction home. There can be a lot of advantages to using a realtor and it will save you time, heartache, and hard-earned cash if you do. So let's talk about them. Reason number one is that a, real, a buyer's agent is going to work for you, the buyer. When you walk into a model home and are greeted by the builder representative, they are just that, the representative of the builder. They work for the builder. Their job is to get the home sold at the highest price possible. A buyer's agent representing you as a home buyer their job is to get you the best deal possible, help you avoid a lot of landmines that exist when buying a new construction home, and help you save money in the long run. A lot, there's a misconception out there that a lot of people think that they will save money when buying a new construction by not using a real estate agent. And that is, that's just, that's not true. Um, real estate, agent commissions are built into the marketing budget of a builder. So the real estate agent, whether or not you have a real estate agent, has nothing to do with the price you pay for your house. Not using a real estate agent is gonna save the builder money because they're not gonna to have to pay that buyer agent commission out of their marketing budget, but it's not gonna get you money off the bottom line of your house. In fact, it could cost you money, and we'll talk about why in just a minute. Reason number two to use a real estate agent is negotiation leverage. When you show up at a home with a real estate agent, the builder hopes that that real estate agent is going to bring other clients in the future. So builders like working with real estate agents. They've got money built into their budget to do so. And they know that we don't have just one client, that we've got multiple clients who we can bring to their model home or not bring to their model home. So if you as a client have a poor experience with a builder, that colors the way that we feel we view the builder and will affect the will affect the recommendations that we give to clients. So builders know that and they understand that. So we also know what their fiscal year looks like. So for example, today is September 30th. A lot of builders close their fiscal year on September 30th. So the deals that are available today may not be available tomorrow literally won't be available tomorrow because they're going to be price increases going into effect starting tomorrow with their new fiscal year. We also know when their busy seasons are, when their um, low seasons are, so we can help you negotiate the best deal possible um, just based on experience and potential volume. Reason number three is we know the contract. When you buy a new construction home, you are signing the builder's contract and it is written to favor the builder. It is not written to favor you as a home buyer. Realtors, we know the contracts. We're trained to read them and understand and help you avoid uh, pitfalls that could cost you thousands in terms of meeting deadlines or not meeting deadlines and holding the builder accountable for those things that are gonna cost you money ultimately. 
Reason number four is we can oversee the building process and the inspection process. Just because a home is new does not mean that it's perfect. There are going to be problems. And having a real estate agent who can help you negotiate those issues or build in contingencies to avoid them altogether is gonna be beneficial in the end to you. It's gonna help you save money, help save time and money. So having a, a realtor who can drop by your build site and check your progress, and especially if you're, if you're building out of state, this is incredibly important to check progress, make sure you send you photos of what's going on, videos of what's going on, make sure that all the phases in construction that the deadlines are met and things are done properly. And reason number five, we can help you control costs. A little known truth about the home construction industry is that they generally will not take money off of the list price of the house, but they will give you money for upgrades. Upgrades, cost money, but they cost less money than taking money off the bottom line of the house. So we can help negotiate you more upgrades, but also a realtor can help you understand sort of what your home may appraise for in the future. And if you're getting a loan, your home is gonna to have to appraise um, to make sure that you don't over improve your house. You don't want to go crazy and in, in get in a buying frenzy at the design store and get talked into upgrades that aren't necessary and that aren't going to bring you value, either in the end number on your house in terms of what you pay for your house, the check you have to write, but also bring back money to you in the end when you go to sell that house. So a realtor can help you do that. They can help make sure that you're not, you know, going, going bananas and paying for things that aren't going to pay you back in the end. If you missed our earlier video on an interview with a builder representative talking about the things to watch out for when buying a new construction home, it's linked right up here. That should be helpful to you. And thank you for watching. Have a great day, be kind to each other, and we'll see you next time. Bye.